Meat goats have gained popularity in the last few years in Nebraska and the United States. There are many reasons why this has occurred, mostly due to the fact that several ethnicities prefer this source of protein in their diet. In addition to this, there are also many producers who feel goats are a good utilization for a small acreage. In this segment, we will focus on how to start them on an acreage and look at why they might be a good fit for an acreage owner. I had the opportunity to speak with a couple of local producers and get some feedback from them on why meat goats might be a good fit for an acreage enterprise. Here were the positives from one of the producer's perspectives. 1. They are able to graze and house a decent number of goats on the acres that they own, significantly more than if they had cattle or horses. 2. Fencing and facility costs were significantly lower, mainly due to the fact that they could build them themselves. 3. They do not require a lot of equipment to handle the goats or manage them. 4. They are a great project for youth in a 4-H or FFA program, especially to get youth interested in starting a livestock project. 5. There are a lot of opportunities to market the goats in eastern Nebraska, with multiple auction markets that have exclusive goat sales, plus opportunities for niche marketing in Lincoln and Omaha due to the size and diversity of population. 6. They are great for consuming undesirable bushes, weeds, and trees in pastures. Another producer had a few additional points to keep in mind. First of all, don't get too big too fast. Goats are a learning experience. Meat goats vary vastly from dairy goats or pygmy goats or any other breed. You'll go crazy if an illness strikes and the whole herd is affected and you don't know what to do. With kidding, in our experience, it seems that they tend to all kid at the same time, so be prepared. Second, know your market. Do you want to raise 4-H kids? Then you need some pretty nice does and a great buck to start with. Do you want to just sell for meat? The same nice does and buck will produce kids that grow faster, but lesser quality adults will get you there too. Do you want to sell breeding stock? Then maybe you want to look at a full blood herd. Be sure there is a market for whatever it is you choose to produce. 3. Find someone to mentor you. You will need to ask questions that really don't need a vet's advice, maybe just a little talking to someone like another producer will help. You will have a ton of questions when you start. While these are all definite items to consider, there needs to be some thought put into starting a meat goat enterprise. Let's take a look at that next. When considering meat goats or any other type of livestock as an enterprise, it is important to do some planning before you bring livestock onto the acreage. So what does that mean exactly? Like many things, starting an enterprise will usually be more successful if there is a plan. So rather than going in completely blind, it is usually best to do some upfront research and have some goals in mind. For example, what is your primary reason for wanting to raise meat goats? To keep vegetation or weeds down? For supplemental income? Recreation? Hobby? Youth projects? Each of these are valid reasons why, and truthfully, there may be more than one reason. The point is to have solid reasoning as you proceed so that you start with the end in mind and so you can develop a plan of how you will get there. Just like any other business, it is important to know what you are going to do with your product. More importantly, know your consumer, what they want and when they want it. If there's no consumer for your product, then what will you do with it? Would consumers want your product for certain holidays or festivals? You will have to plan ahead to make sure the product is ready when they want it. Next, you should also do an assessment on the resources you do have. Here is a list of the resources you will need to evaluate. 1. Land. How much? Is it in pasture? How many animals can it support? And are there other species also grazing this land, such as cattle, sheep, or horses? 2. Buildings. Do you have any on the acreage? Do you have enough space per animal? Do you have sufficient protection from the weather? 3. Facilities and equipment. This means machinery if you will need it to help produce hay or move hay, clean pens, etc. But it also means equipment for handling the livestock. Do you have what you need to manage them adequately, such as fences, 
pins, separate pins for kitting, equipment for trimming hooves, are feed and watering areas established? A positive thing about goats is they really do not require a lot of equipment for production. So if you have facilities already, many times you can make do with little work. If you have none, then utilizing what you have or keeping your design simple will likely be the best bet. 4. Markets. We've already addressed this issue a few times before, but here's a few more questions to consider. What will be the product you produce? What will you do with the product you produce? Is there a local auction market, a niche marketing opportunity, or a way to sell direct from the farm? 5. Labor. Livestock require labor on a daily basis. So, it is best to evaluate if you have the time to put into making this a successful enterprise. Do you have time to feed and handle management tasks daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly? There are many things that need handled in a timely fashion. If they are not, then it can cause problems. 6. Finances The investment you make into the meat goat enterprise can be what you want it to be, a large investment or a small one. Either way, you still need to evaluate this and determine if you have the finances available to get you started, maintain until the time of marketing, and see you through times of difficulty. You will want to consider all of the costs associated with the enterprise. A great resource is the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Goat Budgets. These can be found online at agecon.unl.edu backslash sheep and goat. Once you get the above information on land, buildings, facilities, equipment, markets, labor, and finances, it is much easier to make adjustments to the plan for your enterprise. After this plan is in place, you will need to look for a reputable source to purchase your livestock. In future segments, we will take a more in-depth look at production practices that will help you manage your meat goat enterprise. For additional information, please look at the following resources which were utilized in the creation of this web show. Agricultural Alternatives, Meat Goat Production by Penn State Extension. So, you're thinking of raising sheep or goats? Found on eextension.org. Goat Production Basics in Kentucky, University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension, also off of eextension.org. While this relates to Kentucky in the title, it also has very good general basic information for anywhere. I would also like to thank our two producers here locally, Diversified Farms, Steve and Misty Logsdon, Weston, Nebraska, and L&D Borgoats, Larry and Deb Dowell, Malmo, Nebraska. I'm Sarah Ellicott with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension.